Well, despite her efforts to cling to power, our next guest says the British Prime Minister Theresa May is, well, essentially politically finished. And Roland Vogt is a European Studies Assistant Professor at the University of Hong Kong. He's with us now in the, in the studio. A lot of people have said that. In fact, George Osborne said she was, politically speaking, a dead woman walking. I think that's absolutely true. She's, um, if we look at usually what uh, is important for the aura of politicians is perception, reputation and leadership. And uh, the perception now is that she's a weak candidate. The reputation of the Tories for sound economic stewardship uh, has been tainted by roughly what, what we can see is sort of like the incompetence of the campaign, the botching of that manifesto, and also the inability to really explain to the British electorate what they want to do with mandate and, and, and what they want to do with uh, Brexit, what kind of mandate they want to get. And lastly, this will really doesn't, does not really translate into leadership abilities when confronting the negotiations in Brussels. So in Brussels, when you look at the team from the European Commission and the, and the Council of the European Union, they will think that she might topple any time. So what kind of authority will she bring to the table? I don't think this is really a tenable position. What does it mean then for another election? Will there be another poll? There's bound to be a vote of confidence then at some point or the other if there's going to be uh, another, uh, another vote. And the thing is, on top of that, isn't there going to be electoral fatigue here? Yes, that is a very important phenomenon. And I think, um, I think it's quite likely that we're actually not going to see this parliament out. So the next parliamentary election is now scheduled until 2022. Uh, I don't think this will happen. We will probably see an election in a year or two. It's, of course, it's hard to speculate, but it might be even sooner than that. Because in order to solve the, uh, this problem, um, I think it's like a new fresh mandate will have to be taken from the people. And um, one thing from the, uh, this, you mentioned the phenomenon of electoral fatigue, and I think this is very important because Britain has traditionally had very stable electoral cycles, and now we've moved off that. So we had the Scottish referendum, the European election 2014, we had elections 2015, then we had the, the referendum vote, the Brexit referendum last year, this year we have a new general election. So eventually this tears at the political fabric of, um, of political parties and, um, yeah, and, and, and in general in Britain.